Hi, welcome back. We continue to learn scripting in SAP Analytics Cloud application. It's a continuation to my previous sessions on scripting. In my previous sessions, I was going through some of the basics of scripting that includes on select events for buttons and text controls, some of the pop up window functions, and also timer and export service APIs. In today's session, I'm going to talk about navigation utility class. Navigation utility class has been part of CC scripting. By using this class, uh, I can navigate to an external URL or I can navigate to another story and also pass some filter parameters while calling the new story. We're going to look at all these features in my trial SAC system. To showcase these features, I'm going to use optimized design experience of a story. Uh, in my previous sessions for scripting, I was using an analytics app or app designer to create um, story extensions with some scripting capabilities. With some changes to the anal analytics cloud application, the scripting capabilities were provided as part of optimized design experience of a story. So now we don't have a dedicated UI for analytical app design. The story design as well as story extension with scripting can be done in a story as part of optimized design experience. So now we're going to use optimized design experience to create or to showcase these features in SAC trial system. For that, I have already created a couple of stories. These stories are created with optimized design experience. They are very simple. I have uh, sales by customer, a dimension customer in rows and a measure in columns. So I have another story. This is also on the same model, but uh, there are two pages in this story. One is summary and there's another one detail. The summary pages just has two dimensions and the detail has three dimension. Other than um, that one difference, there isn't any uh, big change in between these two pages. You can also see there is a filter, a story filter on the customer dimension, but the values are not filtered. Currently, the all values are considered for the filters. That's the um, configuration for this story. So we got two stories um, that are created optimized design experience. And then I'm going to use my first story to have the controls. And then by using those controls, I will navigate to the other places. So I'm going to have my controls in the in the first story and by writing some on-click events to those controls, I can navigate to an external URL or I can navigate to another story. In this use case, the other story is going to be my second story that I've created for with two pages. So I'm going to go back to my first story and then introduce a control. So I can introduce my control in the panel. So I can see there, are, there is a view um, for the assets, the ones um, that I can use as controls to the story. So you can see the, the button here, or you can use text as well. So I'm going to use a button control onto the story canvas page, and then I can select and write the on select event for, for this button. So before that, I'm going to, uh, make a name change. I can do that in the details and I'm going to give a name to that open URL. Also give the text as say open URL and I can turn it off. Now I'm, now I'm going to add an on select event for this button. So what I wanted to do this, I just wanted to open another URL and, and call another external URL and then um, navigate to that. So I'm going to call, type in navigation utilities. So that's the code completion gets me to this class. And then I can do the code completion with control space and I get several methods. So I can see open story and also open uh, URL. So I'm going to use open URL for this particular example. And then there are the parameters. You can see there is a URL parameter and then there's a uh, Boolean result parameter, true or, true or false. So I'm going to give a URL. I can give any URL. 
for this particular example, I'm going to give a simple URL called um, SAP help. Keep your URL in between those two double quotes and then say enter uh, and end the call with semicolon. I'm going to save it and then come back. When you come back by default, it goes to the, the view mode and then click on that open URL. It's going to navigate to an external URL, pretty simple. In my next example, I'm going to navigate to another story in my SEC application. So I'm going to close this one and then go back here and then choose edit mode. And in the same page, I'm going to introduce another button uh, will be the same. I can do it from here or I can open the um, the view and then get the button from this place. Whichever works fine, that's up to you. And then I, I'm going to go and take the button to the story. This time I'm going to name this as uh, open story. In the same text. Okay, I'm going to turn it off, and then I prepare an on select on click event. So this time I'm not going to navigate to another URL. Instead, I'm going to navigate to another story in the SSC system. For that same class, which is navigation utilities code completion, and then I'm going to go for open and do the code completion open story. And then you can see the parameter story ID is required. Uh, story ID is a technical name that I don't know um, um, or I can even uh, cannot remember. So for that, I'm going to do code completion again and it is going to open, a, open the uh, story selector and then it gets, it triggers a graphical interface to choose your stories from the system. So you can go to the public and then my navigation utilities is the folder. And then I have my second story here. So you can select that customer product story. As soon as you select that story, the page option is enabled here to select the page from the dropdown. Uh, for this example, I'm going to take summary page as the uh, reference. The reason for it is I have to take the story ID as well as the page ID. So those are the two mandatory parameters for open story U method. So those two are completed and then I can end this. The, the other parameters are optional. I'm going to just uh, complete this um, method and then save it. Back and then now uh, I'm going to close this uh, second switch just to show you that it is navigating uh, to that particular story. So when I click on open story button, it is navigating to the um, second story that I have configured in the in the on select event. So that's what it takes me to the sales by customer and product, uh, the summary page. That's what we have chosen. And then going back to the uh, my original story. And this time I wanted to introduce some parameters um, to the navigation. So those navigation parameters could be for filters, could be for story ID, could, could it be to pass the values to the variables of the second story. So we're going to start with um, passing a filter parameter in this particular example. Let's do that by switching to the edit mode and introduce another button uh, from this place. Gets here and drag it to this place. Say open uh, open story with filter parameters. and then close it. So what I'm going to do, I will write a script to call the story with parameters by passing the parameters to that story. 
So you would have noticed when I did the second story build, I have customer in the story filter, but it is all. So what I'm going to do here, I will uh, call the same utility and then uh, open story. That's the third one. And then the parameters, those two story ID and page ID wouldn't change because they, I'm going to navigate into the same story. Um, for that, I'm going to grab um, the previous buttons code, or I can even take those um, from the, my backup. So I can do the double quotes, forgot. So those two parameters are required for um, the story and story ID, uh, ID and page ID. And then now I'm going to introduce some parameters in between these uh, in between these uh, braces. So the parameters will be uh, for filtering the dimension value of customer. So first I have to pass a parameter for um, model. The story can have multiple models. I have to select which model this um, filter is going to be applied for. For that, I have to get the dimension, uh, sorry, the, the model technical ID. I can get the model technical ID from um, a service API that you can run outside of it. Um, I can show you uh, this, how do you run the service API? The, I'm going to provide this service API for, uh, you can also get it from SAP help document where uh, this API V1 uh, stories include models with endpoint or parameter can give, you, can give you all the stories associated with associated models. So I'm going to call this one, put it in the URL. So it's a, um, it's going to give you, if you don't have a JSON formatter uh, uh, to the browser, to your browser, it's going to show something like this. Uh, but with formatter, formatter, so you're going to uh, get um, JSON formatted in this in this way. Here, for your story, so sales by customer is my story, and you can see the associated model. This is my associated model for this story. So I can f use this uh, in the the filter uh, for the model. So I can use the in my filter URL parameters. The syntax for URL parameters, I, uh, you can get it from help or also you can do this URL parameter uh, dot create. Uh, you can also do the code completion to get this URL parameter and then dot and code completion create. This is the, uh, the parameter method that you can call and then the and here you can you're going to going to put the model here i'm going to put the model uh, filter name so it's going to be f01 if uh, this is only the first one if i have another model to be used in the filters i will have f02 but for since it's just one i'm going to use f01 model and then the value of that model that will be taken from um, the API that I just ran. So that's going to be my modal value or modal ID. So this is how I can give the modal filter and then I can end this. And in my next URL parameter, this is going to be um, again for the dimension. So I can say uh, code completion and create, and then do it for F01 dim. The value for this dimension is going to be um, as uh, the what we can see it in the dimension filter. So I can just pass that dimension and then give, and this is good. And then my next parameter will be URL parameter dot create, and then it is going to be the filter value, uh, the exact filter value that I'm going to pass to the dimension. I'm going to say well, and then comma, the value will be, uh, I can turn it on the uh, the technical name so that I can see what, what is the value or the ID of the 
uh, the the customer uh, member. So for that, you can see these are the descriptions. I'm going to turn um, ID and description. So you can see uh, green high bikes is one triple zero one five one. I'm going to input that in my parameters. Go back to the this one and one zero zero one five one is my parameter value that will be passed to the dimension, uh, sorry, customer. The dimension name is customer. And the model value is this one. So I think that's that's it. Um, my on select event is being configured. Let me save it. So I'm going to close the target story so that I don't have any confusion, I will go back and then run the on the new or click on the new button uh, to see how this is navigating to the next, uh, the second story. And then it should go and apply the filter on the customer dimension with the value that I selected in my um, first story. So yeah, you can see the green high bikes is passed as a, a filter value to the customer dimension and the data set is filtered to that. So in this way, I can navigate to another story with a filter value passed. So I can also uh, go through another scenario where my second story has a variable in it, and then I can call that variable um, in in the in the first story. Uh, instead of hard coding my filter value directly, uh, I can prepare the URL. Uh, with a variable. So you can see the syntax from this particular um, uh, user help documentation. So in my previous example, I have shown filter parameters. You can change this to variable parameters. So instead of F, you may use V01 model and V01 um, filter value as well. So this is gonna be similar exact, I wouldn't say very similar syntax, um, but very close. You can apply uh, those uh, uh, filters, uh, the URL parameters for the to pass the value to the variables of the second query or second story. Okay, to summarize this session, um, by using navigation utils class, I can call several methods um, and to navigate to the external URL, external uh, story, to a, a particular page or whatever the page we wanted to, and also um, pass the parameters, URL parameters, to apply the filter on the navigating story. And also you can pass the value to the variables of the target query with this um, navigation utilities class methods. I hope this is helpful. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye for now.